Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're heading to a beacon of West Cork. Now, West Cork is the county that I'm from, Cork, the western part of it, which has a stunning structure right on the edge of some beautiful cliffs. Now, we are in for a treat as well today because the cloud is perfect. We've got fleeting light, so we're going to have some great light and shadow on the images that I'm going to get today. I'm going to be here for sunset. Hopefully everything works out. I can't wait for you to see it. Let's go. to Baltimore Beacon in West Cork, just on the headland from Baltimore Village. Now, this location is absolutely stunning. You can see this incredibly beautiful structure that's right below me. But over here and to my right hand side, you have another island as well, which is called Shirkin Island. And that is absolutely beautiful also. I stayed, I stayed there around maybe, wow, 10 years ago, I'd say. Myself and my wife, we took away for a weekend, we went over here to an incredible area which is called Horseshoe Bay. And today I'm here now to photograph this beautiful structure, however, I'm here for sunset. So the sun is probably about an hour away from uh, setting, so I'm just now in the start of the golden hour. Took my time coming down here today, went for a bite to eat, I'm with a friend of mine as well who is sitting right here at the end of the beacon so we had a kind of nice relaxed day but now we're here for sunset and what i want to do is take a number of different types of exposures as hopefully i get some nice light now i have got some really nice clouds like i would have said earlier on there's nice breaks in the clouds so i should get some crispicular rays and as i talk right now i see that there's some cascading over as well now to get my composition i'm quite close to it right now i want to go back up behind where you are so I can fit the whole thing into the scene and still have the sun setting in the background. When I'm looking at the clouds here, hopefully if I get clouds for sunset, I'll have a bit of those as well that will catch light. But even as it stands right now, there's some nice, I suppose, patchy clouds in the area here. And with that sun, I think it will be nice as well also. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up my camera and I'll check back in after I do that. Okay, so for my first composition, what I've decided to do is to come up and pretty much have the beacon, as you can see here behind me, kind of straight on in the frame. So I'm framing it up with a bang smack in the middle. Now, on this direction here, you can see I have the sun setting behind me. So I'm going to try and utilize that because right now I'm looking at the glow. As you can probably see here, it's been lit up from this side. Now, for settings at the moment, I have gone for a number of different types of shots. I've gone for an F8 and I've also now moved to an F4 and I wanted to get as fast a shutter speed as I possibly could because there were some birds that were milling around it as well. I also took a composition where it was dead center in the frame and then I also decided to change it up a bit and kind of put it in the top of the frame so pointing the camera more down and I'm using some of these here below me which are the rocks as leading lines and they're leading directly straight towards the um, beacon. So a lot of people would call this a lighthouse but as you can see it's not a lighthouse, but it is stunning nonetheless because it does work quite well here. But when I'm looking at this composition, similar to what you see here, you can see that this is cutting off the, um, the edge of the island behind me, which is Shirkin Island. So I'm going to adjust my composition here for that next. I'm probably going to go over slightly this way and then get more separation on that. And I'll find something else that I can utilize from a leading line point of view. 
Behind me here as well, you can see this nice cloud that's catching a bit of the light. And again, if we look at the sun, I think I should be in luck. But as always, the resident bank of cloud that lives on the western horizon might come in to thwart my efforts. But anyway, nonetheless, here are the first couple of shots now, and then I'm going to move around and I'm going to see what I can get from my second composition. Try and get more separation from that and have the island behind it uh, more separated or visible, let's just say, not obstructed by this beacon. So yeah, here's these shots. Talk to you again in a moment. For my next composition now, I've moved over far to the right hand side and I'm getting more separation as you can see here with the beacon. And now my buddy is stood there as well, which is nice because it's giving a nice aspect of scale within the image. And we're also getting quite a lot of seagulls as well that are milling around the area. So I think that also is looking quite well. Now, because of the seagulls and because I'm focusing on him, I decided to go for an F4. I'm at 1 640th of a second, ISO is at 100. But I'm utilizing the light that's coming from behind me, as you can see here, and then it's bouncing off the side of the structure. As you can see here by my hood, it's quite windy. So I have to be obviously, you know, careful, but at the same point, I'm being blown back in, so not being blown off the cliff side. But I think this shot is going to be nice. I think it's going to be nice because number one, I've got the body in it, so it's a nice one to capture, but moreover as well, because of the seagulls all around that, I think it gives a nice dynamicness to the image. So yeah. Here's the next shot here now. What I'm going to do next, I think, is I'm going to send my drone up and I'm going to get a couple of um, photographs and I get some footage as well from the sky because I think this is where this place really, really lifts. It is windy, but I should be okay. I have uh, just upgraded my drone recently, so I now have the Mavic 3 and I've also picked up a set of filters for uh, this from uh, Freewell, which will give me some ND, so it'll give me some opportunity as well to control that light. And as you can see here, it is quite bright, so that will give me a bit more flexibility, I think, in my shot as well. So, yeah, I'll give you a look at these shots now, then I'm going to send the drone up, and hopefully it survives this wind. But yeah, we'll see anyway how it goes. But yeah, here's the shots. Talk to you again after this.
up here and I think I got some quite interesting uh, footage and as I speak now the drone is going off and doing its own thing it has this feature to be able to do master shots so we'll see what they're like I'll give you a look at these actually after this but like I alluded to earlier on here we've got a beautiful sky but you can see behind me it's perfectly clear but over here onto the western horizon I do have my usual nemesis my bank of cloud now the sun is trying to pierce through but I'm getting no light currently on the subject but nonetheless I still think that I got a nice shot earlier on when I had that side light and I got a nice shot here with the cliffs so all I'm doing right now is waiting for the drone to finish that I've taken a couple of other shots anyway as well just to play around with different compositions I'll give you a look at those and I'll give you a look at what the drone which is directly above me now doing its master shots what they turn out like and then hopefully that we get this enough of a gap that that light will pop through so yeah talk to you again in a moment So I ran over here quickly because there was that bank of cloud gave a small bit of a gap. I think I got it. I switched into F16 because I wanted to be able to get a uh, sun star and I think I got the sun star. The sun is just about to dip below the uh, mountains that are over in the far distance but I can actually see the entire shape of the sun. So right now I'm just taking high speed continuous shots here. I have put this beacon on the left hand third and then the sun is over on the right hand third and then I've got this mound of rocks that are below me not exactly ideal but it does work for the quick shot that I'm taking right now now as that sun is going to drop I'm still taking these shots it's going to give me some uh, crespicular rays or god rays that are going to come up hopefully able to grab those as well and with the sky above these clouds are starting to catch now there's not that much cloud in the sky so hopefully I'll be able to catch a bit of color in relation to those over to this side of me here on my left hand side there is nothing so there's nothing to catch over there that's fine I've no interest really in that I'm more interested on this side here I don't have the separation on the beacon because it is now um, intersecting on the island which is Shirkin Island beyond me here but nonetheless I still think that if these catch here I'll get a nice bit of light now as I speak right now the sun is just dropping below that um, mountain top in the distance so I get one more last shot here of getting that sun ray or that sun star and then hopefully it starts to really really light up I'll give you a look at these shots next settings like I say f16 120 to a second ISO 100 these I think will be nice not really sure about the foregrounds in front here but I still think it'll be nice but now all I got to do is just wait and see are these going to catch and if they catch then we get a beautiful light across the entire sky behind the beacon here's the shot
So while I'm waiting for the last bit of light that's going to be here, I've decided, because like I said a moment ago, I wasn't overly happy with my foreground interest in those rocks that are in front. So as you can see here, I've come down low and I'm utilizing the rocks that are here before me because they're leading straight out towards this beacon. And then I have a small bit of the residual light over on the right hand side. Now I also have to be conscious because I've got some birds that are fleeing, fleeting around here as well. So I'm trying to capture those as well in the shot. So I'm going for a fast shutter speed. Settings at the moment are at f5.6 i'm at 150th of a second iso 100 and that's telling me that i'm slightly under exposed that's fine because i need to make sure i'm not going to blow any of my highlights and right now we're going to be dealing with blue light and we're going to be dealing with red light because we're coming to sunset overall i think it's going to be a nice image now the buddy of mine is actually walking around me here and it's great to have him here because he can give me some extra dynamicness to my uh, footage but as you can see more or less what i'm looking at right now is these rocks that are here below me framing those up and i have to be conscious as well that i'm not losing the top of the beacon on the actual image as well so i'm giving that a small bit of breathing room so yeah here is the next shot all we have to do now is wait and hope that we get that light I'm getting a bit above here which is appearing in the shot so i think that's going to be nice there's a nice top framing within the image but yeah all i gotta do now is just wait for the final blush of color here's the next shots doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get any more light from today. I really did enjoy the different types of images that I got. I was lucky that I had the light earlier on, but also the drone footage. Now, you'll have seen the drone footage before me, but I'm excited well, to see how it is going to turn out. Now, over on my right-hand side here, which was obviously where my sunlight was coming from, like I alluded to earlier on here, that bank of cloud has ultimately thwarted my efforts. And as you can see here behind me, it has gone quite flat. So I think I'm done actually with the types of images I'm going to get uh, here from today. It's been great, like I said earlier on, having my buddy film me because he's able to go all the way around me now and you can see exactly what I'm looking at here, which I don't normally get to have that luxury of. So thanks for that, Tony, for... Uh, filming me today. I think ultimately I like these shots. Let me know in the comments actually which shot was your favorite shot from today's shoot and if you've also visited this location I'd love to hear from you in the comments as well below. sure you tune in to me next Wednesday for my Behind the Raw where I'll talk you through one of the edits from this shoot and also as, as it always if it's your first time on the channel please do hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time from the beacon of West Cork Schlange Fall.